the pickups about to be led away by the pace car for their rolling start. Here we go. Let's quickly take you through the grid then. Sixth fastest in qualifying and therefore on pole is number five, Dan Fisher. His first pole position in the championship. Alongside him, pickup veteran, number 65, Mark Willis. Second row, number 40 of Reese Jones, a Brands Hatch local. Alongside number 72, ex-stock car racer, Alan Cooper. Row three, former champion, number 93, Michael Smith. And the reigning champion, number 28, George Turicki. Then it's son and father on row four, Dean Tompkins, number 21, ahead of his father, Paul, number 12. Row five is Irishman David O'Regan in truck number eight. And number 39, Danny Hun from the famous Hot Rod Racing family. Row six, 83, Dale Gent alongside 71, Simon Ward, celebrated his birthday yesterday, so hoping for some success today. The seventh row, number seven, Roger Dormer. And 51, newcomer Gavin Pike. Row eight, number two, Jamie Liptrot alongside number 50, veteran racer Jeff Dixon. The penultimate row, row 9, 13, Richard Ayling and number 58 of Pat Kiley. And the final truck on the grid should be number 29, Tom Hutchins. That's your lineup for the first of two pickup races today, scheduled for 18 laps of the Brands Hatch Indy Circuit. Dan Fisher used to race a Honda Civic in saloon events on pole alongside veteran number 65, Mark Willis. George Tariki going for his third pickup title, will be three consecutively. Although in four years the series wasn't run in 2020, this is going to be a real treat indeed here for the Brands Hatch crowd and for all of us on BARC TV as well. Pick up truck racing here on the Brands Hatch Indy Circuit, waiting for the race to get underway as they head up towards the line. And away they go. Let's go racing, boys, as they say in American racing. And a good start by Mark Willis from the outside in the 65. They race as a NASCAR style draft down Paddock Hill Bend for the first time. It's just about Mark Willis who's got the lead as they head into Druids for the first time. Good start by Alan Cooper and a great start by the yellow truck of George Turicki up there on the outside in the number 28. Is he going to take second from Alan Cooper here as they head down the hill? Yes, he is into Graham Hill Bend. Turicki up into second place. Dan Fisher, the pole sitter, down to fourth for his first ever pole position in the pickups. There's a bit of bumping and boring there in the midfield. Paul Tompkins was involved there, the former World Banger Racing champion Paul Tompkins, number 12, known as Winkle from his days in the Bangers. There's Simon Ward, number 71, hoping to celebrate his birthday weekend with some silverware. And it's Mark Willis who leads the way, the, I believe he was the last ever Rockingham Oval champion. In truck number 65, heads the pack. There's Dean Tompkins, number 21, not the best of starts for him alongside David O'Regan, the Irishman, one of uh, several ex-national hot rod racers in the field. And George Tariki is going for the lead as they head up into Druid's Hill Bend. And he's done it. Tariki goes into the lead from sixth on the grid already. And look at the way Alan Cooper's going in the number 72 there in third place, ex-Formula 2 stock car racer. He's also won titles in, and believe me when I say this, Reliant Robin racing on the short tracks. Paul Tompkins up into fourth then. Then we've got the two pink trucks. I think it's Reese Jones, yes, who's come through into fifth. Another man who started his career in saloon car racing here at Brands Hatch. There's Dale Gent, new paint job for him this year. He's an ex-classic Thunder racer. He used to have a very modified Subaru Impreza. But George Tariki leads. Began his career in junior mini stocks on the ovals before Formula 2 stock cars, two litre hot rods, and then headed into the pickups. Here comes Alan Cooper on the inside, past Mark Willis into second place really get a sensation of the speed of these machines they're very different to the pickups that your local tradesman uses on the road of course race tune two litre engines built by uh, Sonny Howard and his uh, long time enterprises swing their way through the left hander and up on the curb there Alan Cooper there's Paul Tompkins number 12 Reese Jones is fifth then in uh, sixth position was Dan Fisher he's lost a couple of places there through the first half of this lap, Paul Tompkins squirrelly there as he came through over the curb. Dan Fisher's dropping back the number five truck as Dale Gent attacks Dean Tompkins into uh, clearways. Michael Smith, the black and uh, turquoise, number 93. He's a former three-time champion. There he is, the man from the northeast. Behind him is Danny Hunt, one of many members of the Hunt family who raced hot rods. Ricky Hunt was uh, the one who reached the top and became world hot rod champion back in the 90s in his Peugeot 205. Ricky leads though, chased by Alan Cooper, looking for his first pickup truck racing win. Down the hill heads the man from Northamptonshire. His father, Mark Tariki, a very successful hot rod racer in his own right. George began his career. I remember him racing uh, on my local short ovals in the Midlands in the uh, ORCI mini stocks. 
sideways there, Michael Smith. You can see these rear-wheel drive machines bouncing around over the bumps and the curbs. It's like Dan Fisher, a bit of dust on the side of his truck. He's had a brief off somewhere. He's got David O'Regan behind him. Fastest lap of the race so far, recorded by Reese Jones in fifth position, and Alan Cooper is ready to attack for the lead here. Less than a second covering these top three. Mark Willis hanging on behind to Ricky and Cooper. They've uh, battled together in Brisker Formula 2 stock cars, the two leaders before now. Mark Willis, a long time ex uh, hot rod racer on the ovals. But we are seeing drivers come in from other backgrounds, got the likes of Dan Fisher and Reese Jones. They came through Saloon Series, mainly here at Brands Hatch. Paul Tompkins came from Bangers. Simon Ward, further back in the order, began his career racing a Vauxhall Astra with the classic touring car racing club in the, I think the pre 93 series. Reese Jones having a look here. Paul Tompkins bounced off the curb there, went wide, and up the inside is the uh, DLRD prepared truck of Reese Jones. Dave Longhurst Racing Developments. Dave Longhurst, the ex world hot rod champion. Now a team manager for, uh, he's been a team manager in touring cars in the past when Lee Wood was in the BTCC field a few years ago. Reese Jones threw into fourth place as they go into paddock. Now trying to catch these three. Yellow, green and red. Or red and blue at the front of the field for Mark Willis. He clips the back of Alan Cooper there as they head out of Druids. Still the 28th of Tariki who leads the way. Five less completed and uh, sideways there. Alan Cooper nearly lost it as they came through. Still leading the way. It is the uh, number 28 of George Tariki though and that's uh, opened out a slight lead for him. That mistake by... Alan Cooper, and he hung over the curves there under fire from David O'Regan up the inside in the white truck. Danny Hunt in the Scrapco metal recycling machine, locally based uh, from Essex on the outside. seven of the 18 at the moment side by side now between Dean Tompkins and Dale Gent this is for seventh place really are battles everywhere you look these pickup trucks very evenly matched indeed there's Roger Dormer number seven the ex-lightning rod racer from the short term lightning rods Ford Sierras Roger Dormer won the uh, Team of the Year award at the uh, close season pickup awards held here at Brands Hatch. Had a lot of reliability problems with his truckers uh, over the last few years. Lap eight of 18 for George to Ricky. Still the uh, fastest lap recorded by a driver back in the midfield, Michael Smith. He's back in uh, six behind Paul Tompkins at the moment. They're splitting effectively into two groups of three at the moment. Still no change among the uh, leaders. George Tariki from Alan Cooper, then it's Mark Willis, then Jones, Tompkins and Smith, the next group. Then a gap back to Tompkins Jr., Dean Tompkins, who made a bit of a slow start. He's there in seventh, though, ahead of Dale Gent, David O'Regan. Danny Hearn rounds out the top ten. Then we've got uh, Dan Fisher, the pole sitter, ahead of Roger Dormer. Thirteenth is Simon Ward. And then it's Gavin Pike, another ex-hot rod racer. He raced in two litre hot rods as Dale Gent attacks Dean Tompkins for seventh place again get the better exits from the right-hander. Behind uh, Gavin Pike is one of our newcomers, that's uh, Pat Kiley in the number 56. And then Jamie Liptrop, the number two, as Dale Gent tries to make his move into the first corner at Paddock Hill Bend. He's done so. The truck uh, branded with the NASCAR Fans UK sticker, I think I saw on the uh, back of the 83 there. Sliding wide there, Dean Tompkins got a bit out of shape. Down to eighth place, trying to hold off David O'Regan now, the flying Irishman, based near Cork. Over the curb goes Tompkins, here are the leaders. Still no change in the order. Looking further down the timing screen, just one retirement, uh, Jeff Dixon, number 50, the West Midlands-based uh, veteran, out of the race. Over the line go the leaders, half a second in it, rest of the second covering the top three. We concentrate on the battle for eighth and ninth place at the moment, so Regan and Dean Tompkins, there go the leaders. Reese Jones has now escaped into fourth place in the number 40. Then we've got uh, Michael Smith who's got ahead of Paul Tompkins. See the different body shapes as well. 
on these machines. We've got the likes of the uh, Ford Ranger. Some Vauxhall or GM body shapes in there as well. In the uh, disguised front ends on these trucks, but are all built to the same spec. There's even an Isuzu pickup race in the series. That was uh, the Tressler family truck. We haven't seen that out so for a while, though. Reese Jones all on his own in fourth place now in the uh, pink truck, number 40. Lapping in the uh, 51s at the moment, the leaders. Fastest lap is with Michael Smith, 51.898. All lapping in the high 51s. Still George to Ricky Leeds. Here comes Mark Willis up the inside at Druids. Takes Alan Cooper for second place. Tries not to slide wide on the exit as Cooper fights back there side by side down towards Graham Hill Bender. Mark Willis is through. Up into second place in the Simpson Skip Hire sponsored number 65. Now he will go after George Taricki. The lead gap was 0.7 of a second at the end of the last lap. It'll be a bit more this time. That battle, that brief battle for second place as they swapped over as let Taricki get away slightly. George Taricki champion in 2019 and 2021. So going for his hat trick, the uh, pickup truck championship not held in 2020 due to the pandemic. Alan Cooper up the outside as they go into Paddock Hill Bend. I don't think he'll get through there. He can't do what he did in his Brisker F2 stock car. He'd have just put the bumper in, but uh, pickup truck's non-contact, of course. Cooper has a look up the inside. I don't think he'll quite get the overlap on uh, Mark Willis. He'll have the inside line for Graham Hill Bend. Yes, the 65 hangs on. Absolute, on the absolute edge of it, he can see him sliding about on the turns. A hugely entertaining form of racing for the big crowd of supporters here at Brands Hatch. Paul Tompkins is dropping back slightly there, the number 12. Yes, I think he may have a problem because uh, David O'Regan had to slow to avoid him there. There's Dean Tompkins, his son, going through. I think Paul Tompkins is in trouble in that uh, A4 Metal Recycling number 12 truck. Lost a few places on that lap. He was down, he was six. He's down to about uh, ninth or tenth now. Great. Dean Tompkins and uh, David O'Regan have come through. A change for second here into Druids. Alan Cooper's got the inside line back again. Needs to get the overlap done on the way out of Druids, and he's done so. Good move, Alan Cooper. Best we've seen him run in the championship so far. Just a few laps to go now for George Taricki. He's pulled away to the tune of 1.34 seconds now, and Alan Cooper sliding about as he comes through Surtees there. So entertaining to watch the uh, pickup truck racing championship, whether it's on a circuit or on the Mallory Mile Oval. We still miss Rockingham, of course, but they're just as uh, action-packed on the circuits. There's uh, a battle further back. This is for 13th place. Simon Ward celebrated his birthday yesterday in the number 71. The Barwell Trailers truck ahead of Pat Kiley in the uh, number 56. Newcomer this year. Fight for 13th, every place vital for points. Unlike NASCAR, they don't have a chase for the championship at the end of the season, it is purely on points. Pat Kiley going for the inside into Druids in the grey truck, he goes through. Up into 13th position, past Simon Ward. Then behind them we've got the orange number 51, newcomer Gavin Pike making the move up from the short overs. Great fight going on between David O'Regan and Dean Tompkins. Slide their way through Surtees into McLaren. Four laps to go for race leader George Taricki, who's just going over the line now. Side by side across the line, Dean Tompkins on the inside, David O'Regan in the parcel force sponsored uh, number eight truck. Certainly get your parcels delivered quickly in that, wouldn't you? Just be careful of every fra any fragile parcels though, and I don't think David O'Regan would be in that mood at the moment. He's busy battling with Dean Tompkins. A4 metal recycling truck goes through. Paul Tompkins, Tompkins Senior looking on. Coming into the closing stage of this first pickup race of the season. George Taricki pulling away in front. He's heading for a victory to kick off the defence of his title in style. Cooper up there in second in the 72. Great run from him. Over the line they come.
alias Smith and Jones in fourth and fifth. Jones ahead of Smith, Reese Jones, then Michael Smith, they're separated by about a second. Dale Gent up in the sixth place. And Dean Tompkins, O'Regan, Paul Tompkins, and Danny Hun rounding out the top ten. There's Michael Smith, the former champion, in the offshore fuels number 93, based in Hartlepool. Fans young and old enjoying the action. They slide, look at the slide on Dean Tompkins there coming out of Druids. Great torch. Just a couple of laps to go this time around for George. Tricky to Ricky. sideways as the race goes on, possibly the tyres starting to go off a little. Ricky leads by 1.6 seconds, here's a battle towards the back, Gavin Pike and another relative newcomer, number 29, Tom Hutchins, also races a Honda Civic in various saloon events, getting used to his new rear wheel drive pickup. We're on the penultimate lap now, the lead gap has opened out slightly, and the lead trio have opened out slightly. Dean Tompkins staying ahead of George Sirikki, that's been really, of uh, David O'Regan rather, it's really been the closest battle of the race, there is George Sirikki. Swing their way through clearways, sliding their way out, George Sirikki heading for a win to kick off his title defence and go for a third consecutive pickup truck racing title. Goes through to start his final lap. Full clear now by two seconds ahead of Alan Cooper in second. He got busy battling with Mark Willis and they lost a bit of ground. George Sirikki, who's been racing since he was 11 years old in mini stocks. Moved up through Brisker F2. Competed in two litre hot rods where he won many titles before moving onto the circuits. Michael Smith nearly, could, nearly catching uh, Reese Jones. He could have a contest in the last few corners for fourth, although Smith did run wide there come through the last few corners of this first pickup truck racing championship event of the season and it's going to be a win for the number 28 the man from Kettering in Northamptonshire up to the line it's tricky George Tariki comes in to take the first win of the pickup truck racing season Alan Cooper hangs on the second ahead of Mark Willis Smith and Jones together for fourth place up the Brabham straight for the final time Jones gets over fourth then Smith Dale Jens, Dean Tompkins tops his battle with David O'Regan, Danny Hun is ninth, and it looks like uh, Dan Fisher got through for 10th place. Paul Tompkins, I think, uh, have we lost him on the final lap there? I thought he ha may have had a problem. Yeah, Paul Tompkins came through in 13th, so uh, possibly a problem for him. We lost uh, another truck into the pits, number 13, Richard Ailing, towards the end of that race as well. That truck clearly ailing, hopefully uh, <laughs> I did have to get that put in, and hopefully we'll see him back out for race two later on. The uh, provisional results then of our first pickup truck race of the season. George Tariki, the winner by 2.35 seconds ahead of Alan Cooper. Mark Willis taking third. Then a gap back to uh, Reese Jones in fourth ahead of Michael Smith. And Dale Gents taking sixth, coming through ahead of Dean Tompkins and David O'Regan, seventh and eighth. Good fight between them two. Then uh, Jason Hun, uh, Danny Hun rather, and uh, Dan Fisher rounding out the top ten. Dan Fisher, the pole sitter. Behind them, Roger Dormer ahead of newcomer Pat Kiley. Dean, uh, Paul Tompkins rather battling... Uh, Hard in the midfield, but slipped to 13th eventually. I think there was uh, possibly a slight problem with his truck. Simon Ward took 14th ahead of Gavin Pike, completing the top 15. Then Tom Hutchins from the back of the grid was 16th. Jamie Liptrop was 17th. We lost Richard Ailing into the pits, and Jeff Dixon was an early casualty.